Welcome to this video guys. Let's see how we can upload files and folders to GitHub. First, you need to have Git installed in your system. So there is a difference between Git and GitHub. Git is called a version control system. So it's something like if there is a book and there is a new version of book in 2025, another version in 2026, Git helps us maintain what are the changes and helps us roll back. Now GitHub is like a library that stores the copies of all those books. So in case your book is, you know, let's say destroyed or whatever, it will always be available in GitHub or in the library. So you do your version control using Git and then you push those changes to GitHub, which is like a library. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, let's first go to GitHub. So go to GitHub and log in. Uh, if you are not registered, you can just register and then after login, you'll see this page. Now click on this new here and this helps us create a new repository that is like a new project where we can push our local project or local files and folders. So this, let's just call it test, right? Test repo. And you can make this public or you can make this private. I'll make this uh, public for now. Click on create repository. And once this is done, you need to copy this path. Okay, git add. So this is where we will be pushing our or uploading our local files and folders. Okay, copy this. And these are the steps that we want to not these, not this, but the rest of it. So you can also copy and paste these steps from the description in the video. Now go to your project where you want to, uh, in which you want to push, right? So if there's this test one folder and I have this file.txt here, so open command prompt here, cmd. This is the shortcut in Windows and command prompt will be open inside this directory. If you are on Mac or Linux, you can just change directory and come to your project directory or project folder that you want to upload. Okay. After this, you need to run the command git init. So we are initializing a local git repository for our project. Now, if you get an error that says git is not found or git is not installed, you will have to install git. So you can download git for Mac, Windows or Linux from here and then you can install it and then you'll be able to run this git command. Okay. If you want to see the whole process of how to install git, you can check the link in the description. Now, after you have initialized the empty repository, we need to add which files we want to track or which files we want to upload. So let's say we want to upload everything inside this project folder. To do that, you just do git add and do this dot. This means that everything inside this folder or whatever is here will be tracked and will be uploaded to GitHub. So we've added everything and now we need to commit. Commit means that we give a note to all the changes that we have done. So uh, we'll see an example so you'll understand this better. Now, if I say initial commit, hit enter. As you can see, this is now committed. Now we need to add whatever we had copied. So we run this command here, git remote add, and then the URL of our GitHub repository. Okay, this is basically, if you get any other repository, basically this URL itself with a dot git added. Okay, so you can what you can do is you can just paste the full URL here and then just add dot git in case you have not copied this. Okay. And now we can check if our remote is successfully added by doing this command. So as you can see, we have said uh, we have set this as the push repository and as pull also it's the same thing. Now we can easily push using git push origin master. This is the branch. Okay, hit enter and it will now start pushing our changes to GitHub. So as you can see, it has now pushed to GitHub. So in your case, it might ask you for your Git's username and password. If that is asked, just enter your username and password and you can choose to save it so that it is not asked later on. Now, if I refresh this, those changes will be shown here. Okay, let's go back. Let's go to home and check all my repositories here. And if I open this, as you can see, file.txt is here. Now, if I open this, as you can see here, it says it says this is a test. So that is what is written in my file.txt. Now let's write something else and let's call it a new line that says something. Okay. Now this will help you understand why we need to commit. Now I have made the change, but if I do push again, nothing will happen because we have not committed changes. So it says everything is up to date. So commit means that, okay, we are ready for the change and the change that we are, have done is final. And then only those things are pushed. So if I write new 
stuff added and now if you push it will push to github and we will be able to see those changes in github again let's go to our github and refresh this and as you can see a new line that says something is appearing in this file.txt so this is how you can upload your files and folders to github if you have any questions let me know in the comments below